Hi guys, Cobb Chaser here again with my latest project which is a commissioning job. It's a convertible Rhino Razorback and Predator and Predator Annihilator tank. Now you can see the basic hull here, one of them for starters. As you can see there's two metal bars that include just inside the actual hatch area. Now this is for the magnets to stick to for the interchangeable hull plates which as you can see are here. Now just let me move the right shot for a bit more light. First of all we have the Predator turret now you don't see any magnets but if we flip it over there you can see is the magnet. Now this sits quite comfortably so there's only one magnet because as you can see from the back there there isn't much room for another magnet at all so we put this into place see it's nice and snug that doesn't come off at all take it out what I've done I glued two rhino hatches another way together and then I've got two magnets there in the centre of the doors left and right just a little bit of room either side to allow for the lip of the doorway so now if we uh, put this into place there you go it's now a rhino and it sticks like buggery now <coughs> onto the side hatches now as you can see, there are two magnets, so shine light there in the corners, both this side and that side. And what I've done, I've done two sets of doors to give the person that wants this doing some variation. They're not quite finished, as you can see. Got the two ladders and to ultramarine side doors so we put them into place like so we have a rhino it does now take some shaking to get these off guys so bear with me because <laughs> these magnets are very very strong so you just have to pull them off instead I'll just knock them off. As you can see, this one's that one's to the left, and that one's the right. So that gives the customer both variations on the hull. Now I'll just take these back off again, using the actual lips to pull them off. We go back to the turret plate which we're now putting into place for the predator conversion. Now first of all, well, so this is the right sponson. As you can see there is one magnet on the back there. There's also one magnet in somewhere the gun's pin used to be. Now we put this in place. Again, sticks very, very well. As to the second. Okay. Next, we have the turret. Now, as you can see, the turret is completely disassembled because inside there, there is a magnet there inside the lip on both sides. Let's put that back in place. Also, Thanks to some of the other guys on YouTube, um, Alexander is one, is the actual magnets have been drilled into the sides of the spons and guns, sorry the turret guns. There's the auto cannon, and there is the same is the twin link assault cannons. As you can see, it's nice and tight. As such. 
Ezt az. Jó, az a kedem. Now back to the back of the turret. Mr. Chip tank around. Oops. You can see I've drilled a magnet into the back of the hole for optional ammo boxes. And I've only got one done at the moment, so I'll just put this into place. As you can see, this one's slightly off because it keeps spinning around on me. So let's leave it there we go. Okay. Now right, now back to sponsons. As you can see, I prepared two last cannons. Just got there. And there. Nice and easy. Fortunately, the, the actual bolters are not finished yet, but I will get round to doing so. All right, guys, I hope this does you gives you some ideas of how to convert these tanks and gives you some ideas of your own. As you can see, the actual front turret is too is going to be optional. There'll be a bar in there with the magnet in, so that we can like hunter killer missile, radar dish, storm bolter. For any of the options. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this again. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.